It's Kate Bolt, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here for Fun Friday Live. How are you this fine day? How are you? I hope it finds you really well. The sun is shining here. It's a beautiful day. We have honestly had, it feels like weeks of rain. Obviously, it's not weeks of rain, but it feels like it. And it's such a stunningly beautiful day here. It really lifts the soul. So I'm so glad it's Friday and I'm back for another Fun Friday Live. I'm just popping on my laptop next to me so that I can see if I get any um, anybody commenting during the live. I can see your comments and answer those more easily. So just uh, bear with me. I've got a bit of fun this morning. Okay, yes, I'm live where I should be. This is good. Let's make sure I mute it because you don't really want... Oh, hang on. <laughs> you don't want two of me. One is way enough. Right, so I'm just going to wait and see. Let's move my grid about. Yes. There we go. You can see what's going on now. Um, it's quite low, actually. Let me bring the shot up a bit because everything's going to be hugely, hugely magnified. Oh, and I'll just wait a minute and see if anybody hops on live with me. I hope you do. It'll be lovely for you to join me today. So here we go. <laughs> Let's see. I have somebody with me. Yay. Do let me know where you're from. Happy Friday to you. Thank you for joining me. Just adjusting my screen. Uh, yeah, that will, that will be okay. That will be okay. Right. My laptop keeps giving me pop-ups. Here we go. Right. Let's bring that in just slightly. There. Okay, so I thought we'd have a bit of fun today. I have a number of kits in my stash, the Stampin' Up! kits. Good morning, Sherry. How are you? Good morning to you in Ontario. Ontario. Hello, hello. What's the time there? My geography is particularly bad and on a Friday my brain is a bit frazzled as well, so I can only apologise. Um, yeah, so kits today. Now, last night I held a class, my in-person monthly class. I do an in-person and I do it online as well. Same class. And it was the in-portion, in-portion, in-person portion of my class last night. And I had 12 ladies in my local hall and we had so much fun. All of my uh, stuff, all of my Crafting tools are still in the bag because we finished about half past ten last night and I just kind of dumped it. And this morning I have been on the school run, I've walked the dog, I've done all those things. So I thought I'd pull out a kit for you to have a little look at. Oh, it's 6am. Oh my word, Sherry. That's early. You're the early birdie catching the worm. <laughs> so we've got the cosy and bright card kit. I see it's sealed. I have not opened mine yet. I have, um, I have this because I wanted to play with it for me, um, to make some quick, simple Christmas cards. And then, I'm not sure if we do it this morning or at a later date, I am going to play with the stamp set afterwards and make some alternatives, because I feel that once we open our kits and we use what's inside, those little stamp sets, mine, I have a little, I have a little box with all the kit stamp sets in, and they don't really get played with and used very much. So I think that's a shame. So I will either be doing that today or I will be coming back and making some alternatives with the stamp sets from the kits. So I had a choice today. I had this one. I have got the Best Remedy kit, which looks like so much fun. And I was very tempted to get that out. But I thought, you know, it's Christmas soon. We need to get the Christmas cards made. And a kit is fantastic. And I wanted to be able to showcase it so that if anybody wants to order a kit, they know what they're getting. Um, so the Christmas card kit... There's a couple of Christmas kits in the uh, online store. Um, and I've also got the birthday organiser, but I will come back with that at a later date. So I've just taken the cellophane off. Oh, it's so satisfying opening this one. Oh, look, you see, when I saw this, when it popped up to say, oh, a new kit has come out, I was very excited by the colours in this because they're bright and cheerful. I can't get it out of the box, though. Hold on. There we are. It completely fills the box. Cellophane wrapped kit, but this is what caught my eye. The bright oranges, the colours, the little cinnamon or star anise. These probably are shapes in there. You get a poppy parade ink spot. Focus, focus. And you get your stamp set. So it's a really good kit. 
the kit, most of the kits in the kit collection have everything you need in it. So you don't have to bring anything from your stash. It even has an acrylic block. Great for people who are crafting on the go. Great for if you just want some simple crafting where you don't have to think about it. Great if you don't have a lot of stash and you need a block um, to get started. You don't have to buy anything extra. You can use it to see if you like stamping. Right, this stamp set is so cute. It's got some really um, useful uh, stamps on there. It says, Happy Christmas and a joyous new year. It says, Wishing you a Merry Christmas. I'm going to use that one a lot. I could use that in any of my Christmas cards. May this holiday warm your heart. Um, that's a very Americanized saying for us Brits. We don't use the word holiday for Christmas. Holiday is when you go away for your vacation. Um, but I would probably still use it because it's becoming more widely known of what it means over here, I think. Um, all is cozy and bright. Celebrate the season. I would use all of those, but this is my favorite one. Orange you glad it's Christmas. <laughs> I absolutely love a pun. Honestly, I do. I'm just a sucker for a pun. Right. I think they're really good stamps. Let's get into it. But I'm very um, keen to use it with other supplies uh, when I've made what's in the kit. So we can see the alternatives for it. Right. Have you done any Christmas card making, Sherry? Let's get it all out and can see what's included. As I say, we have this fab acrylic block. These are great because if you get your kits, you can build up a nice little stash of those for your stamping. We've got a whole reel of the linen thread. That is super useful. I use tons of this and you get tons on a reel, but that is very useful. We've got the die cuts. So how many have we got? One, two, three, four of those. The very thick card die cut they are. They're nice. We've well, got a whole sheet of a, a dimensional sticky foam pads. Oh, the envelopes are pretty. Look at those. Look at those. They've got orange on the envelope. Um, how many cards does this make? One seems to make a lot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, it makes 12 cards. Now, often the kits make about eight, so I'm quite impressed with that. Oh, you've started making your Christmas cards, but you're making about 50 to make, so you need to step it up. Oh, Sherry, that's a lot of cards, but I'm with you there because I feel like we're not sending enough Christmas cards, and I've got this urge this year, and I don't know if I'll be able to, to make a lot and give them out to all the people I would normally send a Christmas card to, but then every Tom, Dick and Harry I see because... I feel like the act of giving Christmas cards is dying a little bit and because the postage is so big, expensive and everything like that. And I think it's really sad. Um, so I'm going to give it a lot this year. I just want to spread the joy. Look at these die cuts. They're gorgeous. So, so pretty. And then you've got these. These are pop-out die cuts. They're banners for sentiments. So I've got two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. There's fourteen of those, and these must be the card. Oh, look at these card bases! Oh, oh, you agree with me? I'm so pleased. I'm glad you're going to send lots of cards. Look at the gold on there. Oh, I'm a bit excited now. So you get twelve. You get one. Yeah. So they're all the same. And you can make a whole batch. Now, let's have a look because we should have instructions. And they're normally tucked in here. Take the cellophane off. So, so pretty. May this holiday warm your heart. So nice instructions. So, they are fairly foolproof. The thing that what I like about the kits is you get this um, beginner um, QR code on the back. And it gives you learn stamping basics when you scan this QR code. And this one says, watch detailed instructions for this kit when you scan this QR code. So you can get detailed instructions or simple stamping instructions as well. You don't actually have to use that because it's all in here too. It tells you what's included in there. And then it tells you how to make up the, the card. Oh, are they stickers? Oh no, they're beautiful. These are stickers. Very happy with stickers. So let's make a card. The fun thing is as well, they tell you how uh, much uh, baker's twine 
is it baker's twine or lin linen thread you need uh, for each card and that goes around your little bundle of cinnamon sticks and star anise and it says 12 inches or 30.5 centimeters and you don't even need a ruler because there's one across the top so you know this is fab isn't it so we're going to make one we are going to make one and I'm definitely going to be using this stamp set again on another project. Uh, lots of projects probably with that Merry Christmas. So let's just do one and see how it turns out. And I think this is going to be really quick. Um, and you could probably make all these 12 and you've got all your cards you need then for your neighbours. Wouldn't that be fab? Okay, so you start off by getting your ink spot. Let's find it. Where did I put it? Here. And we need to open it. I always have trouble opening these. They are stunning, aren't they? And they're really thick. Because that's the thing I worry about too, is are they going to be good quality? And they're really thick, good quality card bases. Right, so run your snips along this kind of perforated edge. I think that helps. And then you can just kind of break that seal and open up your little ink spot. I love this. Shall I show you something? <laughs> You will giggle. I have a little bowl of all the ink spots that I've had with kits and other things like that. And I keep them all in here. Look, I've got another Poppy Parade one, which I've also opened. Um, I've got lots of different ones. And I keep them for using with my Stamparatus because it's they're super useful for that because then you don't get so much ink everywhere. You can also buy the unink ink spots that's an old one powder pink yeah so i keep them in a little bowl next to all my ink pad storage so let's open it up okay so we've done that and we are going to stamp so we've got our stamps we've got our block <laughs> yeah just just there and then i can grab it you see if i put them away in a drawer i forget they're there and then i don't use them so we're going to do some stamping. We're going to stamp. We're going to do exactly as it says on the instructions to start with. Right. May this holiday warm your heart. I am going to put wishing you a Merry Christmas. No, I'm going to put all this cosy and bright. Don't you love a new block that looks so clean? A lot of my blocks, even though they're kept clean, have got a bit worn um, over the years and they function perfectly, but I love a nice shiny one. Okay, let's ink this one up. And the ink spots are always nice and juicy. Now, I've not used this stamp, so let's hope it stamps well the first time. Normally I try them out. And... Yeah, that's the right way up. You just stamp on there. I wonder if I should just stamp on my bit. Of, this is the backing card that came in the kit because I feel like it needs to be primed because I don't want it to look blobby. You know, when you first sometimes use a photopolymer stamp, you need to prime it. You can use a pencil rubber on it or something like that, or a bit of Versamark, that works. You just stamp it a few times. Right, let's try it now. Oh, I've stamped off the top. I missed that completely. <laughs> I completely misjudged it, but that might work. All is cosy and bright. Might try it again. The good job is they give you extra sentiment panels and you can also make your own sometimes when you have the camera there you can't get in close to your project that's my excuse and i'm sticking to it <laughs> it's friday that let me off all is cozy and bright that's a bit better oh. hey shaz good morning my lovely how are you i hope you're okay Yay, I did it, by golly. All is cosy and bright. So we now know have stamped that and we need to get our stickers out. I'm, I'm tempted to keep these. I love them so much. Do you ever get something that you really like and you don't want to use it? 
so pretty. Right, we are going to put, oh, look at their cardstock stickers as well. They'd be great for a scrapbook page, wouldn't they? Love those. And we're just going to stick it on um, somewhere here. Uh, I'm just having a look on the picture to make sure I position it exactly the same. And that's pretty much it. I want to do it exactly the same to start with. Oh, is that a... Oh, yes. And then they have taken the large die cut one here. So just pop one out. And this little... It's like what you it's like the things you get on the front of a um Christmas wreath on your front door. And so what they've used are three of the sticky foam pads to raise it up. Oh, this is so good. You can make a ton of these. Um I actually quite fancy this as a stamp set. You know the orange, that would be so good. In fact, we have got um, a stamp set coming out in the new January catalogue that has, um, I think they're lemons, but you could make them into oranges very easily. It's just this section of it. So it's not like a lemon shape, which would be perfect for this kind of thing. All right. Uh, and that goes over there, pretty much there. And that's popped up. Oh, Shaz, I'm sorry to hear that. Shaz, Shaz has been, um, Shaz's daughter's been in hospital after she had her baby and wasn't so well. I hope they're okay, Shaz. I'm really sorry to hear that. That's a lot of worry for you. Right, we're going to pop this in here and I'm going to grab the linen thread. This is so quick and easy, this card. I'm going to struggle then to think of what I'm going to do next. <laughs> oh, hang on. My end wasn't apparent and I just pulled. Top tip, don't do that. Still can't find an end. It's here somewhere. Ooh. I love this stuff, but I don't want to make a mess with it. Where's the end? The baby is absolutely gorgeous and mum is getting better. That's good news. It's always a worrying time, isn't it? Bless them. Hi, Anthony. You're never late, my lovely. Thank you for joining me. How nice. How are you? I'm, <laughs> I'm here in a knot. I'm literally in a knot. So I tried to unwind the thread from the Cozy and Bright card kit and it literally came off in a big bundle. So, but the good thing is, I mean, if it happens to me, then you'll know not to pull it like I did. Ah, very good. Love your puns. Having a great twine here. We are having a great twine. Honestly, it's just like knitting. I might just have to chop a bit off. Oh, I found the end. Oh, three hours later, it's underneath. I wonder if it's the wrong end. It doesn't matter, does it? And then I'll have to rewind it. Okay. So it tells me I need 12 inches. That seems really a lot. You did see your... You're always good with a pun, though, Anthony. I love it. I was liking the pun on the card kit. There's a stamp that says... Uh, it says, Orange, you glad it's Christmas. <laughs> Oh, so 12. Okay. So it goes, oh, okay. So we have centimeters and inches. So we want 12. So we got up to six here. So we want twice that, don't we? Aren't you glad it's Christmas? <laughs> oh my goodness. What's the date today, people? Is it the 25th? I've got a feeling today's the 25th of November. If it's the 25th of November, I'm going to break the news to you now. It's a month till Christmas, guys. I'm really sorry, but it's only a month. 
I know, the colours are stunning, aren't they? Absolutely love this kit. And I just had to crack it open and play. But it's a month. How did that happen? Ah. Oh. So I've been away, um, went to, away to Vienna with Stampin' Up! on stage, and that was so much fun. And my husband and I, two week, or the week before, the week before that, um, were away for October half-term holiday, and we had a holiday away, which was incredible. But it, suddenly, suddenly it's Christmas. How? How has that occurred? <laughs> Sorry, Sherry. I'm sorry to remind everyone it's only a month till Christmas. But I have to say, I'm starting to get excited. I'm really, I am, I'm very much a Christmas person. I absolutely love it. And uh, I started hearing the songs on the radio. And I had my Christmas class last night, like I was saying earlier. And uh, we played Christmas songs and had mince pies, which was great fun. While we made our Christmas cards. So I'm starting to feel a little bit festive now. When is my tree going up? Well, I've been very poor in my planning, actually. Um, I normally, I always have a fresh Christmas tree. Always have a real one because it's just my, my Christmas thing. And I absolutely love a fresh tree. So I've never had one that's not real. <laughs> I love my tree so much. It's a big whole ritual. But I also do this thing with some of my crafty friends, um, which started off, it's a game. It started off with somebody I used to work with used to do this thing called a bauble exchange. And we'd go to her house and we'd play this game with a part with a bauble with these baubles. And you'd all end up going home with a fun bauble. There'd be a lot of mulled wine involved and a bit of fun and mince pies. And she was the perfect host. And I started doing it with my group of crafty ladies um, that I craft with. Not a stamping up, just my general crafting group. And um, so I started holding one at my house every year. And uh, yeah, so soon, very soon, the first week of December, I have my um, bauble exchange party at my home. So I can't really have it without having the Christmas tree up because it's a bauble exchange. <laughs> so I better get myself into gear and think about when I'm going to get the tree because we need it up. And I need to work out when I'm going to get it and all of that. So, yeah, there's a lot to think about. Oh, you're, you would be very welcome to come. I think you'd love it, Anthony. You can come and join in. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's great fun. We all bring a bauble. The bauble has to be wrapped up. Now, I was just looking for the sticky phone pads because I got distracted. The bauble has to be wrapped up. Um, I'm just checking. Where, where, how have I got to stick these on? Okay, so I need some sticky foam pads on here. Uh, we put a price limit on the bauble thing. It's just a bit of fun. It doesn't have to be too fancy. We put like a five pound limit on it. Um, and then you wrap the bauble up. doesn't really matter what you wrap it in as long as the people can't see what the bauble is and then everyone takes a turn of picking a bauble out and holding it up in the air and it goes round in a circle and we all swap the bauble so many times it sounds complicated it's very simple um it's a game and we all hang on i've put that on the wrong end we all uh, end up going home with a bauble sometimes there's a couple of duds in there just some silly ones just to make it a bit more fun the only problem with that is people are normally too polite to say oh my god that that bauble's horrible <laughs> So, um, yeah, but we have a bit of fun and everyone goes home with a bauble and um, having some snacks and some mince pies and we just get together before Christmas. Well, you would love it. Yeah, we always got to have a bit of, um, have some mulled wine going on there just to ease things along. So, okay, so I stuck on the cinnamon stick bundle with a star and ease and now it's time to put on the... Um, sentiment and I'm looking at the instructions as I go along to give me clues about where I need to stick the foam pads because the idea is I've already raised this orange up so I just need them on this end to make it the same height and it would stick on like that so if I stick them on this end it would be very high this end and low the other end so you just have have an even depth is what I'm trying to say so I just pop that on under there Oh, I like it. I love the gold. The gold's so pretty. 
so pretty. That does not look straight, does it? It's on the wonk. There we go. Yeah, so I've got to get my tree sorted, guys. Thank you for reminding me to get this in my diary to get the tree up. It's a big deal. <laughs> and now it's saying bring out the star and ease stickers and put these, place these where you'd like them to go. Uh, I think that one's bigger than that one. Oh no, that's the big one that's there. So these must be the same size. And it says tuck one in here. So this is great. If you struggle for ideas to create a card um, and design a card yourself, these are fantastic because you don't even have to think about it. And it makes it just such a fun process making the Christmas card. And it's not cheating. You've created, you have hand stamped it. You have got die cuts and stickers that you would just die cut on a die cutting machine. Why is it different? It's not, you know, it's great. They have improved, haven't they, Anthony? You're absolutely right. Our card kits are really, really good now. The card bases are really luxurious. Um, you always get your blocks and your ink and the ink is always juicy. So I'm happy with them. I am going to use this fun stamp set inside, the uh, stamp inside, because it's, I love it. Orange, you glad it's Christmas. <laughs> Orange, you glad it's so so pretty so there's our first card and i'll always tell you guys or say to um stamp your envelope to match your card but we don't have to because it's already on there you've already got this beautiful envelope ready to go how pretty is that for a Christmas card. And as I say, you get 12 and you can put any sentiment you like on there, you could change it up. So I'm just thinking about making a completely different card now using the sentiments from this set. But you may have to bear with me to grab everything out of my stash that is sat on the floor next to me because I've just come back from my card class last night and uh, yeah, very late. So it's all on the floor in bags and boxes. I know. Thank you, Anthony. You get to keep your stamp set. That is a great thing about the kits is that you get to keep your ink spot, you get to keep your acrylic block and keep using your stamp set for other cards. Um, obviously, it's never going to go off, is it? It's going to be there forever and you can use it. So that's the card that is, you know, the actual design for the kit. Absolutely love that. I'm just going to pop some of these pieces back in. It's really pretty. And then we are going to make another card. So I have an idea now. I've seen what this card is about, but it may be a bit complicated. <laughs> so we're going to go with the flow. Right. Okay. So first of all, let's grab some white card. Oh, I have a pack of that. Thick. Thick red card. So I'm not at all prepared, but I have a card base. So that will help. Card base. Now we have a trimmer somewhere. Mm. Here's my trimmer. Make sure it's the right size. So I don't even know if I cut this the right size when I cut it. Yeah, that is pretty much the right size. So that's that's that one. Then I think we're going to see, have I got any evening evergreen stock left? Oh yeah, I have a sheet because I've used so much of it. I need to get a new pack. It's one of my favorite Christmassy colors. So we're going to go for a layer at 14.3 centimeters because that's just slightly smaller than a C6 card base. So it'll give you a little border. So 14.3 by 10. 
There we go. So that should fit on here like this. And then we're going to get some white to stamp on. And I need that to be 13.8 uh, centimeters by 9.5. So I've done the same thing. I've just taken off half a centimeter on two sides to make it slightly smaller all the way around. And that's that one. Okay. This is crafting on the go. <laughs> Right, let me grab a stamp set. I think we're going to go with... Oh, I've got so many now. How did this happen? Um, mm, this one. We are going to go for Christmas season. Okay, we're going to have a bit of fun with it. Now, the dies I think are still in my bag. Where are you? Labels, guys. Now I have some bits and pieces that I've already stamped and cut out here that are just hanging about. And there's the dies. Okay, so let's think about this now. Some squished pieces that I don't need. <laughs> These are in vanilla. Okay, good, right. Ooh. Let's move that so I don't lose anything from there. Grab a piece of stamping on. And I think we're gonna get some stamping going on with the Christmas season stamp set and make some foliage. So I'm gonna go with a large pine cone to start with uh, blocks well this is helped me over that <laughs> right so blocks ink pad going for Wade from Kate. Let's go for these and see where we get. Um, I might actually do it straight onto here and then see where we go. The less die cutting, the better, I would say. So I don't have too complicated. Right, so the way I see it, the larger boulder stamp goes on first. Um, and I do that in the lighter colour of the pine cone. So I think we are going to just stamp it here. And here. And then let's get the darker. We've got soft suede. going to get this smaller stamp kind of more detailed and it fits over the top now if you don't get it exactly right don't worry about it at all it's a very forgiving stamp but it looks like a pine cone <laughs> how cool is that the pine cones are beautiful aren't they i agree i love them as well there we go so we've got our pine cones I might need to stamp them out and cut them out just to lay them up. It might look a little weird, but we're going to go with it as it is at the minute. Um, blah, 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 blah. Where's the rest of the stamps? Here they go. So I need that lovely fern. This is my favourite fern. In fact, I might take the double fern and pop that one in. And evening evergreen is what we're going to go for. And I used that one last night. Uh, 
where's that bit of card? I was using it for stamping on, wasn't I? Here it is. Actually, I probably don't need it because I'm going to stamp on. No, that's fine. And then I'm going to stamp full strength down here. Like that. For that one. And then there's one on its own, the same kind of little fern, but it's all on its own. I've used it a lot, that one. And I'm going to stamp this one off. So stamp it full strength onto your scrap. And then stamp it off. Look how pretty that looks. So pretty. The dies are so beautiful, aren't they, in this set? And I might make one with the dies. So pretty. Okay, so we got that. I should know. I quite like this as it is. How's this going to look? Very simple card. I really like it as it is. And well, I might make another one with the dies then. Okay, so I think I'll use the die cut from this set. These dies, these little doodads to stamp on. And I'm going to pop it on somewhere, 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 like there. It might be nice to put a piece of green behind it and lift it. So super simple, the most simple card. And then I think I'll make one that's a bit more, a bit more complicated. Oh, you know what I might put on this card though? I might put, use the Poppy Parade. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lift it up. It might not work, but we're going to go for it. Uh, let's grab one of my little couple of my... I've got some alphabet stamps lay on those ready because I'm in the middle of a project. Right, okay. Oh. Ooh, hang on. Something has occurred. Okay, it's telling me something on my phone, but it still looks okay to me. Are we still there? I think so. Yeah, I need to wait my tripod down, I think. There we go. Doing some weird thing. All right, so what I need uh, is from this stamp set, I still need the little sprig and the berries. And I think we will go with the sprig in green and the berries in the poppy parade. So we can use the ink from the kit. And I'm going to just add a little bit of colour into our project. Now, where is this going to go? So I don't want to cover up our berries too much. Right, OK, so I think it can go here. Don't need that for a minute. And you can see there's little gaps to put your berries in. You can die cut this sprig and you can also die cut the berries as well. It's such a useful set. Deciding where this is going to go. I think it's going to come up here. And then we can always add some more if we want to. Oh, thanks Shaz, yeah. It definitely probably will help something pop. So let's see. Now I've got to see if I can line these up. How they're meant to be. I never remember which way round. Let's try it on this one and see it better. That way. Yes, that way. That's why it didn't make sense. Okay, that one, like that. Then that way, like that. Oh yeah, I like that. That really makes it pop a little bit more, doesn't it? So it means now that we can, I might put another one on there just to even it out. I like threes. So you can see that you don't have to make a really complicated card with lots of die cuts and embellishments and things. If you want to make a whole stack of Christmas cards, you can still make some pretty ones. 
with just stamp inks and paper. There, aim that one a bit better. <laughs> okay, time to put our sentiment on. And what did we like? We liked all is cozy and bright. I don't think I need the orange pun one because there's no orange on this card. Oh, I'm glad you're still there. I knocked my stand, honestly. I'm all fingers and thumbs today. It's a great big, huge thing as well. It's not like it's flimsy, but there we go. All is cosy and bright. I just want to sing the song, but I won't. Don't worry. <laughs> right. And there, and we'll use some of our sticky foam pads from the kit. If I haven't put them away, have I put them away? Can't find them. How come this happens? Oh no, they're just under the the scrap scrap card. So let's put some along. So alternative use for your Cozy and Bright card kit. Just um, use the Christmas stamps you've got, create a little scene and add your sentiment from your kit. Now we could use some of the stickers and things on another card, but I think we're good. Look at this mess I made. <laughs> You know, that's going to take me like half an hour or something when I come off the, the live just to unreal that because I made a mess. It's my fault. It's not the kids' fault. Oh, dear. Can't be trusted. Let's have a look. 12 centimetres, 12 inches we had for the other one. So I'll use the same. And you can buy um, as much of the linen thread as you like. So you could buy a whole reel of it because it's in our current catalogue and it goes on forever and ever. So I'm not worried about running out. So go by the instructions, cut off that amount. My super old scissors. Right, I'm gonna tie a bow. So I tied it round the cinnamon sticks on the last card, but this one I just tie in a bow. And hopefully it'll work. <laughs> yes. Not too loopy. There we go, it was cosy and bright. Now let me grab a glue dot. As I say, all my supplies are put away, but I have got my little glue container here and my glue dot reel is not in here, but I think I have got some glue dots from a previous kit. Now, well, most of the kits contain glue dots. Uh, a lot of people don't like them because they think they look a bit fussy to use. They're not, they're brilliant. I absolutely love them. As you can see, I've used all things nearly, that are, all of them that are on this sheet. So I'm gonna try and use it on this piece of linen thread. Just pop it on the back, like so. And then you just have to take the backing off. And it's not, it's not difficult. Honestly, it just pops off. Just pop it in there and you have got your glue dot there with your linen thread. That's cute, isn't it? All is cosy and bright. And now we're just going to glue it together. Okay, I think I'm going to grab my adhesive kit. My bag, which is next to me, because I should have my seal in it. I love the bit of seal. This is really pretty, isn't it? I love that for a simple card. Oh, 
Oh, I'm making a gluey mess. So now we need to position it onto our evening evergreen layer. Like that. Make sure it's even before you stick it down. There we go. And then put the layer onto the card base. I think I'm getting to the end of my, oh yeah, I've just got to the end of my seal. Look at that, you can see because the red piece comes out at the end. Um, in which case, I'm not going to go delving for a refill. I'm just going to go with my Tombow. Here we go. There we are. All is cosy and bright. And inside we will have a more generic sentiment we have got celebrate this season wishing you a merry christmas that's what we're going to go for i haven't cleaned that stamp let's not put that back right wishing you a merry christmas And I think I might actually do it in evening evergreen. I probably got a little, I don't know if I got an evening evergreen ink spot. I need to check. And I'm just trying it out on here to prime the stamp. Oh yeah, that's good. Yep. Let's go for that then. Brave, going to stamp straight inside. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. Good morning, Carol. Thank you for joining me. I do, I, they do, Anthony. They think of everything. They make it so simple. There is a ruler on the card kit so you can measure exactly how much twine. And so you get enough for each card. You don't have to worry about finding a ruler or a measure. And, you know, you're not going to be too skimpy with it because you know you've got enough and you're not going to run out it's so good <laughs> so good right so that's one alternative card for the cozy and bright card kit and i think i'm going to have another go making something a little bit more complicated because why not is this the right size for a card base almost so i've got a piece of uh thick basic white i love the thick because it's just more substantial for a card base. It really is nice to work with and to receive. So it's 14.8 by 10.5 is my card base. And you get a C6 card like that. Um, gonna take a piece again of the Evening Evergreen. My, one of my favorite Christmassy greens at the moment. And make that 10 by 14.3, which I think it already is because I cut that other piece. And I need one more piece of basic white. I've got a piece that I was gonna stamp on, but I don't know if that's big enough. Let's cut a piece up because I'll use that for my stamping. So we are going 13.8, um, so half a centimeter smaller like I did before by 9.5. <laughs> My brain won't do maths on a Friday. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> My brain's like, no, no maths on a Friday. <laughs> so we've got the layers and we've got this nice green pop of a border there. So let's have a think about this. I think we're going to do some stamping and a little bit of die cutting. Um, and obviously I'll try not to make it too involved. Um, so that it's easy to create and also not boring for you to watch. Right, so we have got our pine cones that are already mounted. So let's stamp a couple of those. Yes. Two pine cones. So we're going to go crumb cake. 
for the kind of more bold part of the two-step stamp. In the stamp set, you've got two sizes of pine cones, a larger and a smaller one. And this is the larger one. Um, and each two of the two pine cones has two stamps for two-step stamping. So we've got the outside of the pine cone, which is kind of a larger image. I'm doing that in the lighter brown. And then I am going in with the darker brown um, with the kind of the smaller, more detailed part of the pine cone, like I did before. And you just kind of offer it up and it doesn't matter if it's not completely straight, but it works. It works so well. So there's our two pine cones. Okay, that's good. Let's pop these out of the way. And then I think we will have some of these. I think we'll have the double one because I think that gives you more bang for your buck. I think we'll do three. One. Two. And then I'm going to stamp one off. So you get the different shades with one ink pad. Always useful. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to put in a sprig one. There's a big spriggy one. Is that a word even? I could do this one, but I'm looking for this one. It's a nice long one there. I think we're going to go with that one. So I need another block for that. Let's just grab this one for a minute. I think it will fit. Yeah. And we could go for soft succulent. Let me find my soft succulent. Yes. So just another green. This is another one of our in colours. Evening Evergreen is one. And soft succulent is the other one. All right, so two soft succulent ones of those. And then we just need some berries. And then we're going to die cut it out and build our card. So, actually, I might use a scrap, another scrap of white. I have lots of odd scraps of white card stock, and it's probably more beneficial to do it on a new piece and it is to try and fit it all in there and then cut it up by accident and then you've actually wasted more so let's have one two i'm not sure if i use all these three and then let's have the berries and the little ink spot that comes in the kit And I'm not sure if I'm going to use these berries. I might just build the card first because I might put some of the oranges on it. Oh, there we go. So let's move all of these things out of the way. Right, okay, so no time for a little bit of die cutting. So I've got to grab my die cutting machine from my bag. <laughs> we had so much fun at class last night. We made cards using the spruce, the all uh, the spruce, spruced up, spruced up bundle, and some of the glimmer speciality paper. It's stunning. Right. Um, plates. Here we go. I've got everything ready. So let's do it. We're ready to roll. Okay, one more thing we need is the washi tape. Let's grab a reel of that. Here's the washi. A little bit of wash, any old washer you've got. Right, dies. 
these are the dies that match this stamp set. These are the seasonal label dies. Absolutely love, love, love them. I have used these to death this this year. Um, and they really they have really worked hard for me. Oh, I love them. I thoroughly recommend these for your stash if you haven't already got them. So I'm going to place my dies on and I'm going to use a tiny bit of washi to keep my die from moving. Put that one there. I can put on a large pine cone. make sure it's centered that looks about right doesn't it um what else this one have i got a die for this one is it missing from my set maybe there wasn't a die for that one because this one oh no, there was definitely a die for this one. I have used it. Ooh. I wonder where it's gone. That's very weird. Um, that's odd. Just wondering what I've done with it. Is it in the... No. It may be in my magnetic tray. I'll have to go and have an investigate. So I'm going to leave that die for now. I might just do some of these. Um, I'm going to do some of these berries and sprigs. It will turn up, no doubt. That's really weird. Right, one of those, one of those. And we'll pop it all through the die cutting machine. Are you still with me? Chaz says um, she's used them for all her Christmas cards last year and will use them again this year to add a touch. I'm not surprised, aren't they lovely to use? I'm glad you like them as well. <laughs> Anthony says he likes the, uh, the fact that they have the ruler on the kits because he says, little things please little minds. <laughs> You're not wrong, Anthony. Honest to goodness. Little things do please little minds. Um, it's what my mum says to me, which is funny. Not very complimentary, though, is it, really? <laughs> right, let's pop this through. That's funny. Right, here it goes. So the berries, they come out beautifully, don't they? The stalks, and then I'm going to reposition this. I'm concerned that I may have mislaid. I like the word mislaid because I don't feel quite as guilty, uh, responsible if I say, oh, no, I've lost it. Um, but I'm quite concerned that I may have mislaid that die. Um, so I guess who's going to be hunting the craft room? It did come out with me to class last night, but we only use the label dies, I believe. Hmm. Right, there's the berries. Oh, I've got one more. Um, I'm not going to do it yet in case I don't need it because it takes up a lot of time. Right, here we go. Let's pop this one through. Here come the pine cones. Aren't dyes are an amazing invention? What would we do without dyes? I love dyes. <sighs> Makes everything come to life, doesn't it? All right, let's do that again one more time. And I think that should be us done for die cutting for now. And I'm going to add some of that orange in it, I think. Go 
oh that's thick that is gluey oh careful where you buy your washi tape from i have no idea where this washi came from it's just sitting there in my stash and i have no idea i wouldn't recommend it <laughs> I have some of that gorgeous glitter washi. It's in the Christmas catalog. It's beautiful. Um, but I'm not using that to stick my dyes down with. <laughs> so there's that one and there's that one. Okay, let's move that piece that glitters away. Yeah, I definitely don't have that other dye in there if it even exists. But we'll count them up later and check. Okay, so we've got our ingredients and we're going to start building up our card now so we've got this one and we've got this one and I just need to decide what kind of design I want how I'm going to make it and do I want it landscape do I want it portrait how do I want it I am liking this. I am thinking pop in some of the die cuts or the stickers from these just to make it slightly different. Uh, where are the stickers gone? Got the lovely envelopes. Here we go. The stickers. So let's take a die cut. Because I can change my mind. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Right, we're going to go for it, guys. Where's my Tombow? This is the moment of no return. I don't even know where I'm going to put my sentiment, so this is dangerous. <laughs> it's going to be glued flat, but I'm just putting the glue in the middle. Just bring it up a bit so that I can tuck this under there a little bit. And I do tend to just put my glue on the bottom of the fronds so that it kind of lifts a little bit up here, if that makes sense. Like that, and do the same here. Have like a symmetrical design. And before I stick it down too hard, make sure I can see enough of my pine cones. I'm getting really excited for Christmas. Uh, Anthony says, speaking of the Spruce Step Bundle, it's the set you've made all your cards with this year and you can see yourself using it next year, but then who knows what goodies we'll have by then. Honestly, you're absolutely right because I always think, oh, I love that, I'm going to be using it and I'll keep it and I'll use it next year, but then you know what? New goodies, new goodies are new goodies, aren't they? <laughs> God, I love some new goodies. Got to have something different to play with. But the spruce set bundle is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm, we made some really pretty cards um, at class last night. I'm really happy with them. Right. Okay. Now, the only other thing I'm thinking of is I want something behind there. And maybe I should have stamped it first. So let's have a think about that. Let's grab this one. Um, I'm going to stamp using the evening evergreen and I'm probably going to just because this is the bottom of it's going to be kind of covered up here so I'm just going to bring it in over the top like that so it should work because I'm going to cover that up and I'm going to bring one down here two down there I think let's clean that off a bit that stamp open my ink pad up properly, shall we? And that's going up here. And this is going to come out from here. Like that. And then I'm going to stamp it off to give it that different colour, which I really like. That's coming up here. Oh, I'm liking this. I am. Right, okay. Now, where are those stickers gone again? 
why I keep, oh, they're right here. <laughs> so why do I keep losing these? Let's have a little play with this. Okay, so I could bring this one down and this one here. Okay, and that's going to go on there like that. Oh, I'm liking it. So, sticky foam pads to stick up our orange segment. Just put a few of those on. We get plenty in the kit. You're not going to run out. On there like that so I can still see enough of my pine cone. Oh, I'm loving it. I think this um, Christmas season stamp set is perfect for this for this bundle. Now, I'm not really too sure about the berries because I'm not sure if the red and the um, orange is going to clash, but we'll try it out and before we stick it down, we can decide. Do you have a little bowl full of die cuts? I experiment with my cards as I go along. I don't necessarily always use everything I've die cut out. Sometimes I get to it and I think, hmm, not sure if that works. So I keep a little bowl. <laughs> and my die cut bowl is getting a bit full. And I'm thinking maybe I should have some kind of random um, card making session where I just like randomly pick out the random die cuts that are in my bowl. It could be weird. <laughs> it could be a bit of fun. Oh, honestly, are we are definitely both enablers when it comes to paper craft products. Yeah, when it comes to stamping up, Anthony, you and I are made from the same mould, I think. <laughs> love all the new pretty things. Absolutely love it. Oops, that didn't stay stuck down, did it? But, you know, it could be worse, couldn't it? It could be a lot worse. We could be like, you know, have some really bad habits. I think we're fairly harmless with our paper crafting, aren't we? Right, so I'm not sure about this one here. I think this, that's more like it. I might need something down here. I think what we'll do is we'll leave that one off a second and we'll get our banner, do our sentiment. this we're gonna put this one on here somewhere and then we can put our red uh stuff in and i'm gonna put that star anise in as well so i think we need to, what color is this i don't know uh, is it pumpkin it should tell us somewhere on the kit what the colors are um it's very pretty so i think we're gonna go for Evening evergreen sentiment on the front. You might have guessed I really like this colour. And we're going for wishing you a Merry Christmas. If I don't stick my hand in the in the uh, ink pad and then spread it everywhere. Right. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. That stamps really well. Right, so the same as the original card, I'm going to have this the same depth. So I just need one or two on this very end here. Yeah, so I must get my Christmas tree organised. I know it's very early if you have a fresh tree, but I do keep it watered. Um, and I generally do put it up the first week of December and it does tend to last. Well, that'd be interesting because this is the first year. I mean, we had our kitten in between Christmas and New Year last year, but she was absolutely super tiny last year. I mean, minuscule. And so she was very interested in the baubles on the bottom of the tree, less interested in the tree itself. But I think she might be up to no good this year with the tree. So even if I get it early, it may be that it doesn't survive because of the cat. Or watch this space. Ah, oh, Shaz, thank you so much for joining me. You take care of yourself. I hope your daughter's well soon. Thank you. Exactly. Good morning, Carol. We're not drinking. We're not smoking. We're not gambling. We're not 
we're not, you know, there's nothing, no harm in getting a new stamp set now and again, is there? You know, could be a lot worse, couldn't it? I'm really not sure about the red there. I would need another one to balance it out. So let's think about this. Bit of this. Like that. And maybe, I don't want to cover that green up completely. It does look nice on top of the green. There. And then maybe I die cut the other piece of, that I already stamped out, the other berries. So those berries didn't stamp very well, did they? So well, let's die cut those and then we'll see how that looks. Goodness, how long have I been going? I got carried away today. I have been I have been live for ages. Oh my word. I'm so sorry, guys. I've been blathering on. Right, let's get the dies and finish this card off. We'll have made three today, so that's pretty impressive. So we want this one, and then I want the others. But I love to make an alternative with our kits because it feels a bit sad that they're left behind once you've used your kit. I think that's sad if they just languish and you never use the stamps again. But also, a lot of people don't want to use the kit for what it's intended. They feel it's too... I love the kit for what it's intended. I love the fact that I don't have to think about it. I can just craft and it's really nice and it comes out beautifully. But a lot of people just want a challenge and they don't want it made for them. So it's nice to see alternative ideas to spark inspiration, I think, with a kit. Through the doodad. That's a technical word for my stamping up cut and emboss machine, that is. The doodad. Okay. Glue. And I think we are at the end of making this card then. And the envelopes are already done for us. No naked envelopes, guys but they're already made. Right, so did I stick that one in? No, but it's time to do that. That one is, isn't either. I wasn't sure, was I? I really like that, it kind of gives it a flow. I decide where it's gonna go. Down there. Oh, I love that. That is an alternative use for your Cozy and bright kit. So the great thing about doing um, YouTube and Facebook Lives and being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and showing people the inspiration with the card kits or any other card making is that you end up with a nice stash of Christmas cards made for Christmas. So my little stash is slowly growing, but I am going to have to have step it up a bit and have a whole card making sesh <laughs> to make sure I have enough if I want to send them that many out. Okay, there we go. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. And then, oh, I can use the orange one because I put the orange on there. Doesn't take much to please me. I'm very pleased about this punny stamp. <laughs> Aren't you glad it's Christmas? 
<laughs> I mean, you could put any of the other really nice sentiments inside um, if you're not into a silly pun like I am. There's some plenty of sentiments in this set. I just like it. Aren't you glad it's Christmas? And then let's just have a bit of foliage. There we go. I think I'll put one more. Should I put one more? No, I'll leave it like that, I think. Oh, I tell you what I could use. Where is the one um, stamp? I have parted myself into a corner. Okay, I've taken it out. Here it is. Right, so we've got all this fern, pine boughs even, inside. And we need this one and this one. Because I like the inside of my card to look as pretty as the outside. Put that one there. There we go, and a bit of, I got carried away today, sorry about that. <laughs> I usually cut, uh, cut you know, cut, uh, finish it off at an hour, an hour is way long enough for a video, but I think I've been going for it today, <laughs> just happily in my own little merry world. Which way does this go? I think I'm just going to stamp it. There we go. That's fine. So there we go. Aren't you glad it's Christmas? Let's move all these things out of the way and we can see what we've made. So it's time to finish off. I think we've had a great time. So the first card I made is exactly how it's meant to look in the card kit. Uh, this is the card with a beautiful gold foiling on it. It's really, really pretty. I love that. Um, and I'll definitely be making more of these. I love this background. It's really luxurious and lovely. And then I did a simple stamping one using the Christmas to Remember stamp set. Simple stamping straight down onto the layer. Um, I've used the die cut from the um, kit and I've used the stamps from the kit. All is cozy and bright. I've used the thread from the kit um, and I've used the wishing you a Merry Christmas from the kit as well. And then this is my stepped up version of that when using some more of the elements from the card kit itself and the Christmas to Remember stamp set. So yeah, stepped up cards using your kits. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you if you've joined me live today. I really appreciate that you joined me live. Thank you so much. And if you're watching me on replay, say hello from Tomorrowland, uh, from the future, and tell me where you're watching from. And I would love to know... Have you used a kit and do you like them? Let me know in the comments. Um, really helps me know what people like to watch. And um, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, because that helps the YouTube algorithm. It helps them uh, know to uh, maybe suggest the video to other people who might be interested. And in turn, that helps me. Um, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and showing you how to use products um, helps my business. So if any of you uh, purchase from me through my Stampin' Up! shop, thank you very much. You help me do what I do. Um, you can find all the products um, that I've used in my shop at katebolt.stampinup.net. 
And um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed getting ready for Christmas. I will see you next Tuesday morning for coffee and cards. No, Tuesday afternoon at 1pm for coffee and cards, 1pm GMT. Um, have a great weekend, guys. It's Friday. Yay. Thanks for joining me, guys. Thanks, Anthony. It was lovely to spend some time with you too. Thanks, Carol, Sherry. Thanks, Shaz. Thanks, everybody. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> having problems. I cannot stop the video today. Haha, -ha. looks like I can stop it now. Nope, I'm never going to be able to stop it. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Hooray.